Hi, I'm Todd Wente and this is The Daily 180. 180 seconds of motivation and inspiration intended to help you take action and make progress in your life. This is episode 615 and we are continuing to work our way through uh, Tribe of Mentors. Today we're going to be talking about an idea from, oh my gosh, I can't remember his name. His last name is Moskovitz. I apologize. Uh, but he was talking about, uh, in the interview that I was reading that uh, kind of led me on this one that gave us the quote for today, he said that there was a particular book. I'm not going to mention the book. You can look it up on, on your own if you would like. But he said that there's a particular book that they give every employee at their, at their company and that they use it to help everybody kind of have a similar understanding about what makes things work in their company and how things really should be done. And I thought about that when I was, as I was thinking about things that go on in my own family and sometimes with my, with my parents, with my kids, with other people, uh, and sometimes even in my classes. I was thinking about the fact that, that sometimes we say a word and what we mean is one thing and what somebody hears is something totally different. In fact, I do this with my daughter a lot. She'll come up with a word. Uh, I think one of the words that she came up with one time was yeet. And I said, hey, you know, blah, 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 if yeet. And she looked at me and she said, dad, that is not how you use that word. And she did the eye roll and the whole nine yards. And it was just, it was a little bit embarrassing. Uh, but then she turned around and she looked at me and she said, dad, you should never use that word. But now I know exactly what that word is all about. And so I have the opportunity to turn around and say, well, at least if I don't use the word, at least I know what she's talking about when she says the word. I think that's really critical for all of us when we're talking about different things for progress and growth and development as well. For instance, if you've got people in your life that you rely on to give you feedback about how well you're doing, make sure that you're talking with them about what progress is going to look like. My wife and I have had several situations where we're trying to make things different. I'll give you an example. She is always after me to clean things up uh, when I'm sitting down and eating my, uh, my snacks. I'll have a cheese stick or something like that. I'll unwrap the wrapper and I'll sit it down and she will come back into the, into the room and she will throw stuff away and she will say, you never throw your stuff away. And I will turn around and say, you don't, don't say never, sometimes I do. Well, we have a different perspective on what it means to be making process in throwing things away. So we've had a conversation where we say, you know, throwing things away means that you don't always notice it. And so sometimes she comes in and she says, hey, I'm not noticing anything. You must be making progress. That kind of give and take, that kind of experience of sharing with each other and saying, hey, this is what progress is going to look like. If you can help me on my journey, please share that kind of perspective with me. As you look for people in your life to help you make progress, make sure you take the time to share with them what progress is going to look like so that you have a shared understanding of what's going on with that. Hopefully this has been useful for you. Hopefully you can share this video with other people in your life. Hopefully you can share it with your tribe so that other people can benefit from it. And as I often say, hit the button to be reminded, hit the, bell to be, or hit the button to subscribe and the bell to be reminded so you can know when these other videos are coming out. My name is Todd Wente. This has been The Daily 180. Nullum Diem, go forth. We'll see you next time.